What I usually do before using first principles is using the power rule so that when I get my answer after using the first principles, I can see if my answer is correct or not. So what do we have here? We have f of x, which is equals to minus 2x squared minus 1. So if we derivate this using the power rule, right, we're going to get minus 4x. Right. So now we can go ahead and use the first principle. We are doing 7.1 by the way and then if we don't get minus 4x as our final answer we know that we have made a mistake somewhere so let's go ahead and solve this question so that we can see what we have here uh 7.1 uh so we're gonna say f prime of x is equals to the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x everything divided by h right so this will be equals to the limit as h turns into zero and then here we have f of x plus h right so we're writing the equation of f of x but then everywhere we have x we put x plus h instead is that simple let me show you how it will look like so we have minus 2x squared so instead of x we're gonna put x plus h right and then we square that and then we have our minus one right there so we we are done with the first part and then the second part we just subtract in f of x as it is right so if we do that we're gonna have minus 2x squared minus one and then we're gonna divide everything by h this is how you do uh derivation using the first principle now we just have to do a bit of algebra let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna have uh, the limit as h tends to zero of so we have minus two and then x multiplied by x that is x squared x multiplied by h is x h you multiply that by two you get plus two x h and then h multiplied by h that's h squared right and then we have minus one and then minus multiply by minus that will give us plus 2x squared and then minus multiply by minus again uh, that will give us plus 1 and then everything divided by h right we still have our limit as h tends to 0 right so now we just multiply in out by minus 2 right uh, so um let's go ahead and do that we're gonna have minus 2x squared minus 4xh minus 2h squared and then minus 1 let's not forget this minus 1 which is out here and then plus 2x squared plus 1 we're dividing everything by h now i want to show you something we have minus 2x squared here plus 2x squared and then we have minus 1 plus one so we're only left with minus 4xh and minus 2h squared so we're gonna have the limit as h tends to zero of minus 4xh minus 2h squared divided by h so the limit as h tends to zero so let's take h as a common factor in the numerator if we do that we're gonna have f each not f and then multiply by minus 4x minus 2h divided by h h and h cancel out now we have minus 4 uh, x minus 2 each is turning to zero right so this is just minus 4x and then you can see now that we have the same answer when we use the first principle and when we use the power rule so now we are convinced that what we did is correct right uh, 7.2 uh, the interesting question here is 7.3 that's the interesting question let's just do 7.2 first and then we're gonna move to that 7.2.1 uh, we have f of x which is a gloss to minus 2x to the 3 plus 3x squared we want uh the derivative using we're not told what to use right so we can just use the power rule the faster method right so if we say f prime of x 
we're gonna get so the b's uh not the b's but the exponent i uh, multiply the b's and then we subtract one right so minus two multiply by my multiply by three that will be minus six and then x to the power three minus one which is two and then the same thing two multiply three we get six and then x will subtract one from the power so we just have x to the power of one right so that is uh, our answer for seven point two point one minus six x squared plus six x right that checks out uh let's do 7.2.2 so here we're looking for dy over dx when y is equals to 2x plus 1 divided by uh, square root of 4x right so we're still trying to derivate here but then you see we have an issue we cannot really use a power rule when it's like this it's a bit confusing you know so let's let me make it a uh, linear and get rid of the square root so that i can easily use the power rule it's a bit confusing for me i don't know about you right so if we do that we're gonna get 2x uh plus and then instead of writing it as one divided by square root of 4x i'm going to write it as um square root of 4x everything to the power minus one which is the same thing right and then when i have uh 2x plus so instead of writing square root of 4x i'm going to write uh 4x to the power a half that's the same that's the same thing as having the square root right and then this is all to the power minus one so 2x plus and then we're gonna have um a half multiplied by minus one right so that will be 4x to the power minus a half so if we solve that we're gonna get 2x and then 4x to the power minus a half so we have 4 to the power minus a half i'm getting uh one divided by two so i have plus one divided by two and then x to the power minus one divided by two right so now we can then use the power rule yeah we can only use the power rule at this point if we use the power rule uh, for 2x we're just going to be left with two and then now we multiply uh, the coefficient by the exponent we're gonna get minus one divided by four x and then we're sub supposed to subtract one here if we do that we can get uh minus three divided by two and this is almost our final answer it's not <laughs> right uh we have to um, get rid of this minus three divided by two yeah we have to get rid of that you know uh when we found our equation it didn't have any minus exponent so let's be kind and take it back uh, to the form found it in right uh, so if we do that we're gonna have two and then we can have minus one divided by four and then x to the power three divided by two right we are allowed to see that now it looks a whole lot better right uh 7.3 7.3 saying that uh, the graph of y is equals to f prime of x has the minimum turning point at one for the x value and minus three for the y value determine the values of x for which f is concave down right so to find the values of x for which uh, a function is concave up or concave down we have to look for the point of inflection right so if we have f of x and your graph is a uh, cubic when you find f prime of x your graph is a uh, parabolic right and then at the turning point of that parabolic function that's where you have your point of inflection and then here we given uh, the x value at the turning point you can see right here we given the x value at the turning point it is said to be equals to one right so now the question i'm asking you is our answer supposed to be x 
greater than one or x less than one can you please just let me know in the comments and why you're saying so